Hello, my name is PJ Capozzi. Uh, I have been asked by the community as part of our referendum information to review previous reductions that were made prior to the term referendum taking place um, and whether or not those positions and programs have been added back and to explain other additions. Um, so I'm going to try to do so in a quick video uh, to keep everyone so in FY13, this is prior to my arrival, um, there was about $300,000 in reductions that took place. And these took place across many funds. Um, as I've explained, uh, throughout the, the referendum experience, the money that's received from the referendum pertains directly to the education fund. So I'm going to highlight the ed fund reductions. Now, I just want to be abundantly transparent. My data on this is not as clear, uh, simply because I wasn't the one making the, the recommendations. I, all of this is accurate. It's just um, not quite as, I guess, robust as you'll see on the, the FY14 um, reductions page. So the positions that were reduced at that point was the assistant superintendent, uh, two programs, uh, Laredo tra tri Trip, uh, which was an outdoor overnight experience for elementary kids, and Challenge Day, which is part of our ninth grade, uh, for lack of a better term, onboarding of our students into the high school experience. There were four teachers that were let go that year, two elementary, just for class size issues. Uh, the French program kind of ceased to exist after that program. We had one teacher and half of uh, a full position, half band, half choir uh, was reduced from the high school. Health service operations were decreased, drug testing, um, some secretarial hours were cut, um, some tech staffing was cut, and inside Title I, um, we moved some expenditures that we had um, in the typical ed fund into a grant funded um, position at that point. In F14, we had roughly six to seven hundred thousand dollars within the ed fund um, that we worked to reduce. Um, so in the instructional aids, um, so there were six positions eliminated. Teachers, we had roughly eight positions eliminated. Uh, administration, we lost um, a position in, in central office. So there was at that point a half time or part time business official. Um, that position was reduced. In addition, there was a, an assistant principal at the junior high, and that uh, position was eliminated. Um, that person was not, right? So that, that person moved from administration back into the classroom, um, therefore bumping a, a different person. Uh, we had a secretarial position uh, that was reduced again in terms of hours, a tech position eliminated, food service eliminated, and on top of that, uh, we also had a handful of programming, ombudsman, summer school, and junior high activities and athletics. So those are the kind of the core reductions that took place in effort to balance the budget. Just as a reminder, at the time of reductions, um, assuming relatively flat funding from the state uh, and understanding what we did about the EAB at that point, we projected without any reductions to be fiscally insolvent um, by the year FY18. So we made these reductions and uh, this was prior to the FY14 referendum being approved. Um, and then we went out and the uh, referendum was approved for seven years. And so after that happened, uh, most all of these positions were added back in, in almost a direct capacity. But I want to be clear, during the referendum campaign, it wasn't, that was not the campaign slogan or what was sold to people in terms of, hey, if you pass this, everything's going to go back to, to what it was. Um, it was that we... Again, the, the vernacular we used was kind of, what are we going to restore? We were clear about that, but it wasn't everything. And so as a result, there's been a handful of things that haven't returned. Um, there, the administrative positions that were reduced, so we still do not have a junior high uh, assistant principal, and we no longer have multiple administrators in district office. For a time, there was an assistant superintendent, um, and at times there was a kind of chief school business official, and both of those positions um, have been eliminated and not added. Uh, I responded to someone on Facebook today, and I was wrong in saying this, that I think the only academic program that did not come back was Home Ec, which uh, I thought was true at the time. Again, I did not realize, uh, it just didn't compute to me about French that was eliminated um, the year prior. So both the French program and the Home Economics program um, have not returned. There's a half FTE of music and band um, that was essentially lost um, throughout the course of these reductions and kind of further um, defining what we are, are doing in terms of our expenditures. Laredo Taft and Challenge Day did not come back, um, and summer school had not come back until this year. Now, we had done some things for um, students in terms of providing summer reading materials, 
but in terms of the formal summer school, um, this will be the first time. So the question becomes, all right, well, you caught all these things. You said you needed money. You got money. Why didn't you um, bring just everything back? And the reason was that we used it as an opportunity to reset. So our expenses have been driven by our desired outcomes. So when we look at things, um, would I love to offer um, more electives to our high school students? Absolutely. Um, is it absolutely necessary to get us where we're going? No. And the bottom line is, um, as we've said over and over again, when we went out in November, uh, the state said we we're funded at 68% of adequacy. As a result of our EAV increasing, we're about 70% of adequacy now. So we don't get to do what we want to do. Right? Right? Like our expenses are still largely need-based expenditures um, that we are trying to do to leverage the outcomes that we want to. Um, so there are positions that have been added quite literally in place of just restoring what was the previous status quo. Um, instructional coaching is, again, a research indicated um, best practice in terms of what we could do to expend our money to provide support and job and better professional development for our teachers. Uh, the college and career coordinator was something that um, our self-analysis of how we were preparing kids to be successful in their tomorrow was significantly lacking. Um, this not only dealt with college, in fact, it kind of morphed into something that is, while college is a large part of it, the, the career part and the military part is something that I think we've seen the most added value in, in terms of externships and internships and apprenticeships. Um, that we've been able to line up that previously we weren't able to provide that service to kids. Uh, we've added positions in terms of special education and our Highland Elementary School counselor. Those are, again, uh, helping to provide support to our kids that oftentimes are most uh, traditionally underserved so that we can do a better job with that. And we've added a school resource officer. Now, there are a lot of other things that we've um, added kind of along the way or throughout, but those are the, the, the main core additions that we've made, and those are kind of what would have been in competition with the things that you've seen, such as French or such as home economics. Uh, in terms of ombudsman, that's one thing I didn't mention. Ombudsman was a credit recovery program. We've been able to work with the ROE to have a cost-neutral program for the district and host that on site after hours instead of um, paying a large tuition and busing kids to it. So we have um, didn't replace ombudsman directly, um, but we essentially brought in a competitor, which was a more cost-effective option for the district, which provided the same or similar benefits to our kids. Um, so sincerely appreciate this question. I hope this cleared up any uh, confusion that you guys had. And again, if anyone wants further information, you can always contact me by email or my cell phone, 815-980-0310. Thank you and make it a great day.